it up here. But everybody else, just come on in. Just walk in. We won't wait for anybody now. Here we go. Hey there, is that the British guy? How's it going guys? It's early morning, forgot to do an intro yesterday, got so busy at the groundbreaking event. Well actually, it's the room for more. Groundbreaking was last time. Here's a clip of the uh, groundbreaking event. This is your moment. 93 years ago, God, I believe that you looked down when ground was broken on this site and a school was built, and this building served our community for almost a hundred years. You're back. Um, you love that groundbreaking event. Now, let's get ready to go to the uh, um, unveiling or opening, dedication, whatever you want to call it, of the new space. We're going to say a few words and we're going to cut this ribbon and you get to go into the new space. So, thanks for coming. Come on in. Filming. I'll cut people's heads off. All asset to our church. He put in countless hours, and I just feel like it's fitting to hear from him right now. So let's uh, thank Jay, and uh, as he comes up here. Uh, I uh, wrote some stuff down because I didn't know how I would feel at this moment, and I didn't trust myself. Um, I can see you. I can see you. <laughs> yeah. um, so today right now represents several years of um, lots of planning and dreaming and uh, a lot of hard work, a little bit of money, uh, but it's, it's an amazing moment in our church history right now and we really would never have made it to this day without the help of literally hundreds and hundreds of people and uh, many of them are here today uh, actually all of you deserve thanks in, in a special way but uh, it's a dangerous thing to do to start saying thanks to people because I'm sure I'm gonna forget a few but I just want to let you guys know all the number of people that poured into this project and give them a shout out because I think that's appropriate um, first I want to say thanks to my family um, who put up easily with a couple years of uh, long weeks and late hours. Uh, thanks to the staff that helped dream big and push the ball down the field every single day. Um, thanks for many in the school district, uh, especially Carol Edinger, who's here, uh, used to run the community ed program here in this building. Um, Carol is, uh, if you don't know Carol, she's a true champion for changing lives in the community. and. Uh, Carol and I had many conversations uh, before the school decided to sell this building about what this place could be for the community, and I'm just so excited that she's here to see this. Um, and I know her voice carried a lot of weight um, through the process of acquiring this building. And, and we know that the gifts, God has given Jason many gifts and he's yielded them to the Lord, and we are just grateful and blessed by them. Thank you very much. Five, four, three, two, one. One, cut! <laughs> Carol, we're gonna hope Jason and I are gonna hold the door. Colin's gonna hold the door and come on, Carol. Justin Van Ferrari better get up here. But everybody else just come on in. Just walk in. We won't wait for anybody now. Here we go. The first person that scratches dead stains anything. <laughs> This is awesome. Forever, 
Guys, it's awesome. It's been nine, ten months, not even a year, and we've had this space opened as you just saw. You know, as you just saw, guys. Uh, well, I'm excited, and uh, um, I'm hoping for room for more people to come in the building. It was awesome. Had a fun time. Didn't film all of it because I was having a fun time. But the bits you saw, pretty awesome, guys. Well, I said to British guys saying keep it raw and real and also like, comment, subscribe.